Hi, I am Aliza Tanbir from Skillco. In this video, you will learn how to launch a Redshift Data Warehouse on AWS and for that, we will first navigate to the Redshift Cluster option. Then we will set the cluster configurations into which we want to create the Redshift Warehouse and then finally we will run the cluster. Launching a Redshift Data Warehouse actually means launching a Redshift Cluster on AWS and to do so, type Redshift in the search bar. And once you are on the Redshift page, go to the navigation menu and from the drop down, select clusters. Okay, so once you are in the cluster data, you have to select create cluster button. Okay. So once you click the create button, this is the page where you will land. So the first thing you want to provide is to give a cluster identifier. I'm going to go with the default one. You can give any value to your cluster. Then you have two options to choose the size of the cluster. Then we have to select the node type. So the node type specifies the specifications for the node you want your cluster to be a part of. So there are many options out of which you can select the required node. I am going to select DC2 large. This is suitable for the free tier. Okay. Then you have another option of loading a simple data. Either you want it or not. I am going to leave it unchecked. Then we have the database configurations here. You have to provide an admin username. You can provide a name of your own or you can go with the auto generated one. I am going to go with this one and then we have to provide a password. So I'm going to provide a suitable password for my AWS account. Okay, then we have certain cluster permissions. If you want to add different IAM roles, you can provide different roles. I'm going to leave it as it is and then I'm simply going to click create cluster. And once you click on the create button, you will have your cluster creating. It will take some time for creation and let's wait for our cluster to be created. So our cluster is now available. And once you click on the cluster, you will see its specifications showing the date created, the storage size that is used, the node type, the number of nodes available. You have different endpoint links, the JDBC URL to connect to JDBC and ODBC URL to connect to ODBC. Then we have different type of cluster metrics and CPU utilizations for the cluster, which is now null because we haven't actually used the cluster. So that's everything about launching a Redshift cluster on AWS. That is all for this video. Thank you.